Hi YouTube! Uh, today I am going to do a little reveal of a coach bag and it is the Coach Dreamer shoulder bag. There, yeah. are, there are two of these Coach Dreamer shoulder bags and this is the newer one and it is right here. It is the black with the gold hardware and this is um, on Coach right now and it retails for $495. And here she is. So I just got this today. And this bag does come with a long strap that can be used for crossbody. It is a higher crossbody on me. And this is like the infinity strap, so there's no flap hanging, which is nice. And then it also comes with this chain strap that you can, and both straps are remo removable. And I just have this doubled up right now and kind of like hanging in front of the bag with the long strap on. And of course you can take one off, take both off, um, do what you want with that. And it has the bottom here, no feet. It just has these little stud details on the bottom there. It has little stud details on the sides, and that's the ring loop there on both sides. And it does come with these, this little C charm and just a regular coach hang tag. Now this is, oh, um, I'm gonna mention that it does have a back pocket before I forget. It does have a back pocket where you can slip a cell phone and it was large enough to fit my iPhone X, no problems, and you could probably easily fit a plus size phone in here. Now, uh, this bag um, is made up of buffalo embossed leather on the sides there, smooth glove tan leather, and the buffalo embossed is also on the inside flap there. And then this other, oops, and then this pocket out here is suede. So, this bag is not technically part of the 1941 collection for Coach. However, it um, is the quality of a 1941 bag and has all the materials that you would expect to see on a 1941 bag. Even this zipper pull here on the inside says Coach 1941 on it. So, I don't know. It's like a hybrid of Coach New York in 1941, pretty much. It, but it, it does have all of the materials and quality of a 1941 bag. So that's really, really nice. And uh, so the way this bag functions is it has two flaps and they both are connected with this magnetic piece right there. So in order to get into the main compartment, you kind of have to pull them apart or if you just reach like that, you're going to always open the front flap. So that is something to think about when you are looking at this bag. If that will annoy you, then definitely avoid this bag. But if you want to get to the main section, you have to kind of stick your finger in between them and separate them to get to the main compartment. So the main compartment is all leather. It's uh, like this Bordeaux color leather and it's this really smooth, nice leather that you'd see on the um, 1941 bags. You have one compartment there. You have a zippered compartment, which is lined in the linen or the um, canvas lining that is in the Rogue bags. And then you have one front compartment. And let me just check. And this pocket, this middle pocket, is sewn into the bottom of the bag, so you won't have things going underneath the pocket, which is nice. The zipper pull is smooth. So that is the main compartment there, separated in three sections. And then you also have the front pocket, which is kind of gusseted, so you could fit quite a bit in there. And that is also lined in leather. This is a all leather bag. There, the pocket back here is also lined in leather. The only material that is not leather is the little linen on the inside zipper pocket. So yeah, very nice, well-made bag, really pretty. It is a structured bag, so I don't know that you'll be able to like overfill it and get a bunch in here. I haven't even tried to put stuff in here, but we can go ahead and try that. I have my, <laughs> probably sick of seeing this, my backpack with all my stuff in it. So I'm gonna just transfer some things from there into here and kind of see what this bag will hold. So the first thing that I want to put in here is my um, 1941 
uh, trifold wallet. And I'm gonna put that in this back pocket there. And that seems to fit fine. Second, I have this coach um, little pouch here. And I can put that in the front pocket there. And um, let's see, I have a pair of sunglasses. That's my daughter. A pair of sunglasses. And that fits there. And a round hand cream. That'll fit. Mm. That'll fit on top of the wallet. There. And uh, I don't know. I have this GGB pouch. Um, I don't know. See, it's getting kind of tight because this middle divider. So I think that's all you'll be able to fit for right now. Unless, so you might want to take things out of pouches to use this bag. It does, it does close with all of that in there. And then you have this front pocket where you could maybe put something, let's see. That kind of bulges the pocket out, Let's, and it, um, <laughs> let's see, it does, it snaps, but it's tight, so I would put something slimmer in this front pocket, like, or take the things out of here and use that, so, and then, I, of course, I would put my cell phone in the back here, so this probably is a little deceiving on what you would think you would hold that middle divider that's why i'm not a huge fan of the middle zip dividers it just doesn't hold that much um round thing round hand cream a pair of sunglasses the wallet and a makeup pouch and you would be able to fit your cell phone um oh i didn't even try my keys the keys might be able to fit in the front pocket with all of that in there see this <laughs> this this closure is a uh, can get a little annoying. So yeah, so that yeah, that would um, you get. I could put my keys in that front, and it doesn't bulge out too much with all of the other things in there. So uh, I know this. A lot of people are liking this bag because of you know the quality of it and the design and. Uh, Let's see, it's pretty popular. Oh, well. Yeah, this isn't gonna fit. But my daughter's getting fussy, so I have to rush it, rush it up. So I got my keys in the front and all the other things in there. And you can put your phone in the back. And that is, I gotta, I gotta go tend to my daughter. So um, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment down below. And until next time, bye YouTube.